Most of us are familiar with the top decentralized finance protocols on Ethereum, but what about the other Layer 1 and 2 chains? With the DeFi movement gaining steam over recent years, it's becoming increasingly clear that the space is much bigger than just Ethereum. In today's video, we'll take a look at the top native DeFi protocols on the top Layer 1s and 2s. To kick our list off, we have the Binance Smart Chain, where PancakeSwap sits as the top protocol in terms of TVL. PancakeSwap is a DEX that offers one of the lowest charges on trades at 0.25% per transaction. The majority of the fee, around 0.17%, goes to liquidity providers, 0.03% goes to the PancakeSwap treasury, while the rest is used to buy back and burn cake, the protocol's native token. On top of liquidity mining, PancakeSwap offers other products like the lottery, prediction pools, and even launched an NFT marketplace to allow users to trade their NFTs directly on the platform. The second biggest protocol on BSC, Venus, combines the benefits of lending protocols like Compound and MakerDAO's stablecoin minting system into one. Like many other money market protocols, it allows users to deposit collateral to borrow other assets. On top of that, users can also use their collateral to mint the protocol's synthetic stablecoin, VI, basically providing a way to access liquidity while maintaining exposure to the cryptocurrency market. Venus has other products like Vaults for staking and recently partnered with PancakeSwap to allow users to swap tokens without leaving Venus's UI. Moving on to the second chain, Tron and its first native lending platform, JustLend. Similar to many money markets in DeFi, JustLend uses a pool-based lending model rather than connecting lenders and borrowers directly, such that borrowers can then borrow funds from that pool and the interest that they pay is distributed among the lenders in the pool based on their share. The second largest protocol is also part of the Just ecosystem, Just Stable. It is a decentralized stablecoin lending platform that uses a dual token system, including JST, just native token, as well as the stablecoin USDJ. To take out a USDJ loan, users have to deposit collateral, forming a collateral debt position similar to MakerDAO's, which allows them to mint and withdraw USDJ. Next up, we have an Ethereum Layer 2 scaling solution, Arbitrum. The number one protocol on the chain is GMX, a decentralized spot and perpetual exchange that allows investors and perpetual traders to perform cryptocurrency swaps and use up to 50 times leverage on the exchange. The protocol also rewards liquidity providers and stakers of its governance token, GMX. Another popular protocol on Arbitrum is Radiant, a project that aims to bring together fragmented liquidity across different chains. This allows users to deposit any major asset on any major chain and borrow various supported assets across multiple chains. Radiant launched V2 of the protocol earlier this year and currently supports cross-chain borrowing and lending on BTC, ETH, USDT, DAI, and USDC. Moving on to Polygon, another Layer 2 scaling solution for Ethereum and the leading DEX on the chain, QuickSwap. The DEX is a fork of Uniswap, so it basically uses an AMM model to allow users to swap tokens. On top of swapping tokens, QuickSwap offers other products like farms that allow users to earn rewards from their LP tokens. Featuring as the fifth chain on our list is Optimism, another Ethereum Layer 2. The top protocol here is a DEX known as Velodrome. It rewards liquidity providers with its native token VELO, which can be locked up in exchange for tradable NFTs and voting power. Velodrome also has a bribing system that allows external parties, such as protocols, to bribe liquidity providers to deposit their tokens into a specific liquidity pool. This is intended to help bootstrap liquidity and increase the trading volume on those protocols. So once the liquidity providers deposit their tokens into the specified pool, they are eligible to receive a portion of the bribe based on the amount of liquidity they provide. Moving on to chain number six, we have Avalanche, an L1 smart contract platform. Avalanche hosts BenKey, 
a money market protocol that allows users to lend, borrow, and earn interest on their assets. BenKey also launched a liquid staking product that tokenizes staked AVAX and allows users to freely use it within DeFi dApps, essentially creating greater capital efficiency. Following BenKey and TVL on Avalanche is Trader Joe, a protocol that claims to be a one-stop decentralized trading platform. It offers swapping, lending, borrowing, and staking services. On top of that, Trader Joe launched an NFT marketplace known as JoePegs that allow users to list and trade NFTs. Last but not least, we have Phantom, an L1 chain with Halloween-themed dApps. The top protocol on the chain is SpookySwap, which provides the functions of your typical decentralized exchanges, such as token swaps, single staking pools, and yield farming. On top of that, it provides NFT services and a bridge that allows the transfer of tokens between different blockchain projects. The number two protocol on Phantom is Beethoven X, a fork of the Balancer protocol. Similar to Balancer, Beethoven X's AMM can support up to eight different digital assets in one liquidity pool. It also allows users to swap their tokens for other supported assets. There you have it, the most popular protocols on the top seven chains. While Ethereum more or less sets the standard for DeFi and many of its top native DeFi projects or its forked versions are deployed and dominate other chains as well, we still see some innovation from other chains and protocols which are trying to get in on the action. That said, if you haven't started out with DeFi on Ethereum, check out the top projects here.